passes, maybe? Well, they're checking out a fun one tonight. Clemson ended North Carolina in ACC gymnastics action at Carmichael Arena. It's alumni night tonight. We brought back the former Tar Heel gymnast and assistant coach Julie Chapman. Matt Cross with you as well. Julie threw rotations down. Your thoughts on tonight's competition? So far, it's been a great competition. Clemson's come out very strong. I don't believe they've had a count of fall on any event. The Tar Heels had a great opening rotation, vault rotation, had a couple nice landings, had a rough time on bars, but came back strong on beam. They had five nice beam routines, one uncharacteristic fall from Gwen, but we didn't have to count that fall. So overall, a great meet so far. Looking forward to this last event. It'll be a while until Clemson has an alumni night. Their first year as a program, they're not your road meet tonight, but they've had a lot of highlights here in Carmichael Arena. We begin on the vaults with Lauren Rutherford. Lauren Rutherford was spectacular. She did a nice, huge blind landing. Yuchenko, one and a half. Stuck that landing. Bree Clark on floor. Bree Clark dazzles us again with her high flying tumbling. Nice double layout to start. Ends with a nice combination front layout, front full punch front. Fun choreography. Isabel Schaefer of North Carolina has provided the Tar Heels' most memorable moment of the night, matching her career high at 9925 in her bar routine. Great bar routine here, a nice stuff dismount. Getting the Tar Heels fired up after a rough rotation. So Carolina and Clemson, one rotation to go. Tigers will be on beam, Tar Heels will be on floor. We'll finish it up after this. Final rotation tonight, Clemson and North Carolina in ACC gymnastics action from Carmichael Arena. Tigers on the road for the first time as a program. North Carolina wrapping up their three meets in four weeks run. Tigers on beam. This is the only event all year, Julie, in which they have yet to score a 49. Maybe tonight's the night. I definitely think so. They had a few wobbles last week, a few routines that could have been a bit better. I'm sure they went back into the gym this week and, and worked through some of those. I'm excited to see how they come out and compete tonight on the It's a 48-7-5 for Amy Smith's team a week ago against Pittsburgh at home. North Carolina will wrap up competition in Olympic order on floor. Bosniak, Miller, Ruda, pretty young lineup, all things considered. No seniors, four underclassmen in this group of six. Really excited to see the come out, the Tar Heels come out and show their stuff tonight. Like Dana had said, we're really looking for the boom, and I think we can bring that here on floor. They had a great week last week against NC State, scoring a 49, and I think they can definitely do that this week as well. I'm excited to see these Tar Heels and what they bring to floor tonight. Carolina, quite simply, has gotten healthy on the floor. They competed just five gymnasts in the season opening quad meet, scored a 47-6-2-5, up it to a 48-8-5 in the quad out in Utah, reached 49 a week ago, so Coach Duranzi's team hoping for another step forward here tonight. All we can ask from these gymnasts is just to get stronger week after week. They keep working in the gym. They build up their stamina on these events. Come out and show us this, these great routines. Ending on beam is, is difficult, especially when you ha you're pumped up from the whole meet. You kind of have to take a step back and relax and and bring things down, especially after floor. These, these girls are, are ready for this tonight. Rebecca Wells will start things off on beam for the Tigers. Wells and Eve Jackson both competing all around for Clemson this evening. Wells best score the 985 on bars. A beam for her it was a 985 a week ago. Rebecca 
taking a nice, nice deep breath, getting ready to mount the beam. Nice mount to a beat jump. Very aggressive movements up there on the beam. Nice full turn. Nice amplitude on those leaves. Nice combination there. Getting ready for her flight series. Back hand to the out, step out. Nice strong landing there. Gearing up for a dismount here. Round off, double twist, and she sticks that landing. Very nice lead off routine for Clemson. Here's that back cancering layout step out again. The slightly off, but fix those arms. Nice double twist. Feet were slightly apart, but a really great landing there. Late change in the lineup for North Carolina. Taylor Schultz will start things off. She will be Wozniak to start, then Schultz will compete second for Bella Miller. So it is Wozniak leading off as plans. Amy had a nice floor team last week against NC State. Let's see what she can do here tonight. Intermediate double top, nice landing, difficult pass there. Trying to match her exceed a career best 9775 from a week ago. Nice lead pass there, combination leads. And he has nice presentation in this floor team. Nice straight legs. Nice toes. Getting ready for her last pass here. Round up by handspring, double pike. Chest was slightly down on the landing, but she pulled it up quickly. routine for Amy to start the, off the Tar Heels on floor. I keep saying endurance, but here on this floor routine, I think you can see she kind of runs out of steam, has to pull that double pike around, chest is down a little bit, but she pulls it around for a slight deduction and a great routine. Fantastic start for Wells and Clemson on beam, a 9.875 season high for her. And the Tigers will have a fall uh -oh. here for Maggie Holman. Looked like her back handspring, her foot was slightly off. Had to take that fall there on the layout step out. Sleep series there. Slight leg bend on that switch leap. Nice aerial into a beat jump. Maggie's a quick mover on the beat. Quick movements. Nice round off into a one and a half dismount. Slight hop on the landing. Watch this acro series again. Back handspring. Slightly off on that layout step out. Chest was down. Had to drop that shoulder. 
So now it's Taylor Schultz's turn. First time she has competed on floor as a Tar Heel. Career best 905 for the 2022 season at Brown. with a very nice front layout into a front rooting. Looks like they're trying to get the fans behind her on this routine. Nice leap there. choreography and throughout this routine. Round up one and a half punch layout, another great landing. Nice leap combination again there. And another great floor team for the Tar Heels. So Schultz will await her score after Wozniak's 9725. Here she goes on her final tumbling pass, round off one and a half, punch layout. She's excited, the teammates are excited, great floor team. Coleman a 9-1 on beam with the fall. That'll be the score Clemson hoping to drop, but it ratchets up the pressure on Eve Jackson and the rest of the Tigers. 7.75 in the season opener against William and Mary is the seasoning career high for Jackson. Nice mount there for Eve. I learned last week that uh, Eve's uncle is famous NFL player Deshaun Jackson. Comes from a very retired, athletic yeah. family. Can't spring layout, step out, layout, step out. No wobbles there. Switch leap into a cat leap half. Lacked a little amplitude on that jump, but she's working through it. A slight wobble on that full turn. She tries to cover that up with those arm movements. Let's get ready for her dismount. Round off one and a half, a slight hop forward, but a nice routine following that fall. Here's the highlight of this routine. She does a triple series, back handspring, layout, step out, layout, step out. Nice finish. Hug from her head coach. Uncle Deshaun's alma mater, jumping into the ACC next year, the Cal Bears. Taylor Schultz, a 9775 for Carolina in her first floor routine as a Tar Heel. You got this, girl. Freshman Cami Ruda, 9725 last week, was a career high. Excited to see Cami's opening pass. She opens up with an E element. Slight hop forward, but nice chest up. Great leaps there. Nice choreography going into the second pass. Round off one and a half front layout. Great landing. Really nice 
dance leading up to this last pass. Round out by Kenshin, double tuck. Very nice landing. You see that mat there in the corner, trying to save her ankles a little bit. And a nice finish, nice routine. Kimmy opens up here with a nice tucked full in. Had to take a slight hop forward, which will be a small deduction. And ends with a nice double tuck, nice chest up, arms back. Great dismount. You are permitted to use that four inch foam pad as long as it is marked with an out of bounds line. Correct, there's no deduction as long as they stay in bounds. Quinn Cool on beam. Freshman from Holly Springs, North Carolina. Not too far away. 40 minutes or so here from Chapel Hill. Two back hand rings into a layout step out. Nice triple series there. No deductions. Nice switch leap into a beat jump, which is a requirement. Judges are looking for amplitude on the jumps. No form deductions, no break in the hips, no wobbles. A nice front toss into another beat jump. Just moving nicely through this routine. Getting ready for her dismount here. Round off and to a one and a half. Nice stick. Nice routine. Sticks all the way around for Clemson tonight. Nice round off into a one and a half dismount. She's a little bit crooked on the landing. A slight deduction from the judges. Overall, a really nice routine. Scoring for Ruda, 9725 for her. One Fink up for the Tar Heels, opening up with a nice sky high double pike. Nice landing. back after that fall on the balance beam. Looks like she's sh shaking that off. Nice round up back hand swing, two and a half twist. Nice switch ring. Nice combination leaps there. Getting ready for our last pass here. Round up by Pants Ring, one and a half punch layout. Nice routine from Gwen. Glad to see her recover after that fall on the beam. Gwen opens up here with a sky high double pike. Great landing, plants that front foot. She ends with a one and a half punch layout. Nice ending and a great routine from Gwen. Names in the score pop up during that floor routine from Fink. Cool and 9-8 on beam for Clemson. Rear high for the young freshman. Kylan McCright is next. Kylan's a beautiful beam worker. She has a, a great toe point. Tight back hamstring layout step out. 
attended the same high school as Carolina's Jessica Naranjo and Bella Miller. She moves so nicely through this beam routine. Tuck jump full into a beat jump. A little wobble, she tried to cover it up there. Nice recovery. Nice aerial into a split jump. Getting ready for her dismount here. Gainer full. And a nice stuff landing. Three sticks in the first five athletes to compete for Clemson on beam. Here she goes with that combination aerial into an immediate split jump. Nice combination there. And a nice gainer dismount. Nice duck landing. Great routine there. It's fun to watch Kaya Forbes compete on floor, the Louisiana sophomore. It was just a 9275 last week. Their best is a 99 last year. Kaya's such a powerful gymnast. She has a hard time sometimes controlling it. We talked about it all the way back in the first rotation. Moving her vault from a Yurchenko one and a half down to a Yurchenko full, helping to control some of that power. Absolutely, and that worked well for the Tar Heels as she stuck that solid. And there she goes, a nice stuff tuck full in. Great job on that pass. Music's firing the crowd up. She's getting ready for her second pass. Punch front layout into a punch front full. Another nice landing. Gearing up for her leap series here. Nice leaps. She's really coming into her own with this floor team. Having fun. Teammates are having fun, trying to get the crowd into it. Getting ready for her last pass. Yes, nice double back, nice landing. Great routine for Kyle tonight, really nice. Well-deserved, loud ovation for Kaya Forbes. Here she goes, opens up with that E element, a tuck full in, and she nails it. Great job. Coach is excited in the background. Nice dismount, nice landing. Great job. Bree Clark on beam for the Tigers. 9-2 a week ago, her best is a 9-9. A 9-7 here by my napkin math would give the Tigers their first 49 on beam. Also put them well over 196 as a team. Nice by answering layout step out. That's what she fell on last week, so I'm glad to see her stay on this week. Nice recovery. Huge amplitude on those straddle jumps. She's moving great through this beam routine. And a nice punch layout full, another stuck landing. Great routine. Great improvement from last week after she suffered that fall. Back handspring, layout step out. She was slightly off, but she pulled it back on. Threw those hands down, and a nice duck landing. That comes after the 9-9 for McCrite. Three scores of 9-8 or better already on beam for Clemson. Potentially Clark of fourth. Fink a 9875 on floor, waiting the Forbes score. Now the anchor is Julian Knower. She had a 9 
8-7-5 last week. Both of these teams, Julian, seem to save the best for last. What a fourth rotation we've had tonight. Yes, Clemson came through on beam. They had that one fall in the middle of the lineup, but didn't have, end up having to count it. The floor has been amazing for the Tar Heels tonight. Looking forward to see Julia come out here and show us what she's got. Taking that deep breath, getting ready to go here. Getting ready for her first pass here. Round up that handspring, sky high double tuck, and she nails it. Getting ready here for her second pass. Front four through the front layout. Nice landing again. Nice involvement from the crowd there. Leap series. Gearing up for her last pass. Nice double talk. Much better than last week. Building up that endurance. Great routine from Julia. She should be really happy with that routine. by her teammates after what you can only presume is going to be Carolina's third straight 9-8 or better. Julia's opening pass. Sky high double pike and she nails it. Second pass is a front handspring, front layout, full front layout combination. Nice job there on the landing. She finds that landing on the double chuck this out. Great job for Julia. So we'll await the score for Noah on floor. Clemson's beam scores are in. Bree Clark a career high 9-9. So Clemson with four season highs and two career highs. And the fall from Holman ends up not mattering whatsoever as Clemson scores their first 49 on beam as a program. It's a 49-2. That means their final score is in, and it is accurate down in the bottom right of your screen. 196.55, Clemson's first ever road meet, results in a program record score. Noah, 9-9. Nine, nine. Great score for Julia. That was a great ending routine for the Tar Heels. She did a fantastic job on all of her landings. So Dana Durante talking to her team after they set a season high with a 49-1 on floor. Julie Carolina struggled on bars, got better on beam, but capped it off really well on floor with the 49-1. Their final score tonight will be a 194-125. It is their second lowest of the year, but some momentum to build on given the way the target has finished. Absolutely. They've got some things they need to go and work on in the gym some uncharacteristic falls from some of the Tar Heels tonight, but nothing that they can't fix in the gym and come out strong next week. So, final scores are in for tonight. Let's break it down by rotation. See how we got to Clemson's 196.55 and Carolina's 194.125 tonight here in Carmichael Arena. Consistent performance all the way around for the Tigers. Their lowest score tonight's the 48.95 on vault. 349s to get them to that 196.55. Impressive showing on the road for Amy Smith's team, Julie. Yeah, they had a little bit of a slow start on vault tonight with a 48.95. They have some landings they could absolutely clean up, 
but they moved to bars where they scored a 49-1-5, then moved over to beam and had a fall, but they didn't end up having to count it, and then moved up, went to floor 49-2-5, a great total for Clemson tonight. The storybook start for Clemson Gymnastics continues with a brilliant road score tonight here in Chapel Hill. Fun night of gymnastics inside Carmichael Arena. For our producer, Lauren George, my broadcast partner, Julie Chapman, my name is Matt Krause. Thanks so much for joining us. Have a great rest of your Friday nights. Clemson emerges victorious over the Tar Heels here in Chapel Hill.